My name is Gord Armstrong, and I am one of the uh, owners of uh, Laser Storm. Laser Storm has some new vests and some new life being breathed into it, so maybe you could give me some history? Certainly. Um, the, the company was originally founded by a gentleman named Bob Cooney, and it was Laser Storm Incorporated. Um, he had uh, sold quite a few systems uh, to family entertainment centers. Um, did very well. He saw how much money the, the entertainment centers were making and decided to go into business for himself, uh, opening centers. Unfortunately, overextended himself, ended up filing bankruptcy, um, but all the in intellectual property rights, everything to do with the company, ended up going to the, the company that was actually doing the maintenance for Laser Storm, uh, a company called Precision Mechanical Assembly Incorporated, uh, PMEI for short. Um, one of their employees decided that they wanted to buy the company from their employer. Um, then the company, still using Laser Storm brand equipment, uh, the company became Laser Wars Incorporated. And when that gentleman decided he was going to uh, get out of the business, um, I was contacted. I was working for a laser tag arena at the time. Um, and I was also doing sideline jobs for Laser Wars. So I knew a lot of the, um, a lot of the networking, a lot of the software. I was doing tech support for him as well. So I was his first phone call um, when he decided that he wanted to, to sell the company. Um, being in a, an FEC for 18 years, seeing problems with, uh, with different systems, when I acquired the company, there was things that I was dealing with uh, as far as the system that, that I wasn't uh, very fond of. So that's when I made the changes to shoulder sensors. Um, Laser Storm was, was more of a hide and seek game before, uh, but kids today like uh, bright, shiny, um, so that's what I ended up doing by adding shoulder sensors, taking away the headset. Uh, I lit the, the, the shoulder sensors up uh, very bright. Um, so when, when you have an arena full of these vests now, uh, red and green vests, uh, two sides, it's, uh, it's just like Christmas time. All right, parts and components are actually made in the United States, yes? Correct. Uh, a lot of places, and I, I do understand this, uh, will uh, farm out um, jobs to, to overseas to bring the cost down, uh, which brings the cost down for the, uh, for the consumer, for the end user. Um, now, I still, I still keep costs uh, down as low as I can, but I want to make sure that all the jobs stay here in the U.S. so we, f we don't farm out anything. Uh, all the jobs are produced, or excuse me, all the, all the uh, equipment is produced here in the U.S. Uh, and we try to keep things as local as possible. Uh, I come from Flint, Michigan, which everybody has heard of uh, because of the Flint water crisis. Unfortunately, that's taken the population of Flint down. So what I'm trying to do is to try to help the economy in Flint by keeping as many jobs in the Flint area as possible. Now, we do, we do deal with companies... Uh, in California, in other states, but I try to keep everything as local as, as possible. Uh, that way, I can also keep an eye on the manufacturing process. I can stop by just to make make sure that things are going smoothly. Um, but yes, I'm I'm all about keeping keeping jobs here. So uh, we've had the company now for going on four years. Uh, we we have uh, quite a few more uh, arenas now as well. And uh, we're, uh, uh, we're going to be the ones to watch.